Good morning students. Welcome you all to the science class. This is your new science text for this year. You will be having a science notebook. Uh, in that you can mention your classwork activities and the home activities as well. Let's see the first class that is all about plant reproduction. What is mean by reproduction? In this picture you can see the mother is holding a child. Here the reproduction means it is a process of reproducing the young ones. For example the animal and even you can see the fish. You can see their uh, young ones are nearby. So all these are called the reproduction. So in this class we are going to discuss about the plant reproduction. Let us see the parts of plant. Here the root that goes under the soil, stem, fruit, leaf, flowers and these are all the parts of the plant. You know which part of the plant is a reproductive part? Yeah, in this picture you can see the flower. This flower is the reproductive part of a plant. Some flowers like rose, jasmine, all these are called flowering shrubs and that do not that do not produce any fruit but here the flowering plants like bitter gourd apple mango all these produce the fruit and the fruit inside the fruit you can find the seed and the seed is the vital part for the reproductive system here you can see the fruits for example plum in the plum, you can see only one seed, right? Same goes for the avocado. You can see only one seed. But here, if you are taking the tomato, kiwi, papaya, watermelon, all these contains many seeds, right? So, let us do an activity. Go to your nearby places and get the available fruits and find out how many seeds are there in a fruit. You can mention all your observations in your science notebook. Let's learn about the parts of seed. These three are the major parts of the seed. The first one that is seed coat. Second one that is cotyledon. Third one that is embryo. Let's see one by one. Here this is a seed coat. It protects the seed. It is the hard covering to the seed. You can see the seed inside here. This is the hardest covering. Take a mango, eat the mango and open the seed. You can find the hard covering on it and that hard covering is called seed coat. Next one is cotyledon. If you are taking a peanut, open the peanut, you can see the two sides of the peanut and that two sides is called cotyledon. Here the seed that stores its food. So you can see here it is two cotyledon, right? In this picture we are going to see there are two types of cotyledon that is dicot and monocot. Dicotyledon or monocotyledon. Dicotyledon means if you are taking a bean seed or if you are taking a peanut, you can open it into two parts. So if you can see the two parts, then that is called dicotyledon. What is meant by monocotyledon? If you are taking a maize or if you are taking a wheat or even rice, you can see only one side. You cannot divide it into two parts. So it is called monocotyledon. So there is two types of cotyledon monocotyledon and dicotyledon. Hope you understood this. The next part of the seed that is embryo. You know what is meant by embryo? If you are taking a groundnut seed or else uh, if you are taking any bean seed, you can see the, you can understood what is seed coat and if you understood what is cotyledon. In one cotyledon you can find a pointing structure like this. And this is called embryo. Through this embryo, the new plant that grows into a sapling. So all these are the parts of the seed. So hope you understood the parts of the seed, right? So what all we have learned today? We have learned about the parts of seed. We have learned about the 
parts of the plant and we have learnt about the flowering plants. So, let us do an activity. The activity is already mentioned in your science book. Take seven different side, uh, seven different seeds like wheat, gram, mustard, rice, groundnut, maize. Everything is easily available in your home. So, take that seeds and find out whether the seed is a monocot or a dicot. You can clearly mention your observations in your science notebook. So, see you all in the next class.